Mohamed Shafiq, is the Football Alliance the new English Defence League in your view? Yeah, it's the modern version. And um, what we've seen, not just on your report, but we've seen over the last 12 months, there's a concerted effort to silence the voices from within the Muslim community. You look at somebody like me who's been at the forefront of taking on the narrative of the terrorists, the ideology. Um, I've been subjected to death threats from these groups. Yet over the last few weeks, people associated with these far-right groups have launched a deliberate campaign to silence me because they feel that um, I'm more of an enemy when it comes to this issue. And the other issue, uh, which I want to pick up if I can, Victoria, if you look at what happened at the Finsbury Park Mosque, we didn't see last any year. last yeah. year at uh, the attack by Darren mm. Osborne. Mm. We didn't see any statement of condemnation from these groups. They say they're against all extremism and terrorism. We didn't see them march with us when we were marching uh, in support uh, of Joe Cox and all that she stood for. So actually, they're just against extremism from one community. And I think if they really want to take on terrorism, if they really want to make a difference, you don't do that through marching, you do that through changing the law, you do that through unity, and you do that through love. Let's have an open and tolerant debate. But what isn't acceptable is the hatred that is being directed towards a small community. And, and the other thing is that they talk about um, we're um, not fascist. Yet they supported a fascist march in Poland where anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim views were expressed. So let's be consistent. Let's take on the narrative of the terrorist. But equally, let's call out the racism and the xenophobia that we see from the Football Lads Alliance. Would you want the government to ban this group? Um, I don't personally. I would have liked to have debated them. Um, I, I'm not one of those that, d d that says that we shouldn't share platforms with them. I want to expose them. And so if, if Football Lads Alliance wants to debate this issue, let's have a debate. And if they actually want to take on terrorism and they want to do a joint march and they want to march in peace and love, then I'll be on the same line as them. So is that you're inviting them to join yeah, you on absolutely. a march yeah, against terrorism? Yeah, absolutely, because people like me are on the front line of taking on the narrative of Al-Qaeda and ISIS. And if you want to be consistent about that, let's do that. But in reality, that being anti-Muslim cells nowadays, and if you look at Tommy Robinson, you look at other people, uh, it's profitable. 